So today's video is going to be something different that I haven't done in a long time. Forgive how I look, my client just left. So it's now time for me to clean up. And I figured that I would do a series of um, nail tech experiences and nail tech journeys um, or situations that I have been through. And I wanted to kind of use today as an example. Let me cut the TV off though. So, hello, hi Laura, thanks for tuning in. So again, my client just left and um, hopefully you guys can hear me. Um, hi, Shanessa, how are you? Thanks for joining. I look a mess. I, like I said, I just got through with my client. Um, she got a pedicure and um, some other stuff on her nails. So I wanted to do a like a story time diary of a nail tech type of thing, like a situation. And I kind of want to, you know, feedback on you guys and talk about it and whatnot. So hold on, let me get my tablet up so I can see these comments. And talk to you guys because it's hard to actually kind of see on my phone um, versus actually looking at the tablet where I can just, you know, talk to y'all. Uh, talk to y'all. Okay. Hi, Tiffany. How are you? Hi, Diamond Diva. Hello. Hello to everybody. Okay, so let me kick this off and let me tell you page number one. Right. So this client that I have, um, she's been coming to me for a while, ever since I started doing nails before I even went to nail school and so on and so forth. So the last time that I did her feet was in February. So I haven't seen her since February and it's May. So now I've seen her like just randomly at places and i happened to notice that she had her nails done but the nails were not done by me so as a nail tech this is like some of the stuff that we kind of learn uh, we kind of notice you know when our clients that we haven't seen for a long time get their hands done or nails done by somebody else that isn't you so that's what today's conversation is going to be about. How do you deal with a client going to someone else and not even let you know if that's going to be an issue or things like that? So, my client, I've seen her plenty of times since February, but not to get a service done by me. The last time that I saw her was February to get her feet done and that was it. So in March, I happened to see her and she had her nails done. I didn't say anything. I didn't do anything. But like I said, as a nail tech, you kind of notice these things because you're like, man, I haven't seen my client in over a month. I'm not trying to say that's a bad thing. That's a good thing. But it's just like, do you guys ask, hey, why haven't I seen you? I see you got your nails done. Who did them? You know, not trying to be all confrontational and whatnot, but... Do you guys tend to ask um, why or where did they get their nails done? So I guess that would be my question. Does it matter? Does it bother you? Do you ask them? Do you not ask them? Do you let it be? Should I not? Should I have said something? Um, and then I'm going to tell you guys what I actually, what I did. So not only did she come to me today, this is the first time that I saw her. So this is my client that I'm talking about today. I love her to pieces. Don't get me wrong. I love her to pieces, but I haven't seen her in a long time. And she requested that she wanted a pedicure. So I was like, okay, no problem. I scheduled her pedicure and we did it. So she texted me earlier today and asked me, were we still on 
where we're still on for today so she can come and get her pedicure. I said, yes, ma'am. And so then she sends me a text like, hey, I went and got my nails done at this different shop. And I was wondering if you could put some designs on it for me. So I was like, in my head, I'm like, that's kind of strange. Like, why would you ask me that? And you, you know you didn't get your nails done by me. Like, would that be a problem to you guys? Would you have an issue with something like that? How do you respond to that? Do you say no? Do do you work over other people's work? I'm sorry, I had to put my mask on because I had just sprayed lights off. Do you guys work over other people's work? Would you have told her no? I'm interested to hear what you guys would have said because what I said is maybe something totally different and a different reaction than possibly what you guys would have done. Sorry guys, I'm behind the, the camera. Hey, lean, lean color. Diamond Diva says, yes, it will be a problem because you're working over someone else's work. Okay. So me personally, I don't mind working over other people's work because I'm not one of those nail techs who will be like, well, I'm sorry, I can't take you because you got your nails done by somebody else. I'm not the type to do that. I mean, I'll work over their work, but I'll explain to them like, hey, if something happens, don't say that it's my work because I'm obviously filling over someone else's work. So I'm just like, I really don't know what to say. I was, I wasn't appalled or anything. I'm just like, I don't know. I think there's some type of nail etiquette that's supposed to be used. Like, you know, you went and got your nails done someone else, somewhere else. And then you want to come here and ask me to bling or jazz your nails up a little bit more because they charge more for every little single thing. All right, we're getting some feedback in, guys. Uh, Lin Lin says, I don't work over others' work because I don't know what was used. Prime example, I, I agree. Tiffany says, I'm charging you, though. I did charge her. Lin Lin says, dang, I missed the first part. So basically my client went and got her nails done. My client went and got her nails done elsewhere, but came to me to get her feet done. And then when she got here, or she actually texted me before she got here, she was like, can you add, you know, some extra stuff to my nails because um, they charge for every little thing. And you know, I just feel like they're plain. Diamond Diva says, that sounds like you're being used. Okay, I mean, I definitely can understand that with the feeling of being used. I don't know if, I don't know if that's because it's just me being who I am to be like, okay, sure. Maybe I'm too nice. Maybe I'm too nice. Maybe I need to say, hey, um, sorry. <laughs> I don't work over other people's work. Or maybe I should say, I'm, I'm so nice, y'all. You don't understand. I am, it's hard for me to tell my clients no because I want them to feel like we still have a rapport with each other. She says, how is she going to go someplace else and then take the cheap way out because she didn't want to pay them for all the services she wanted? I mean, I agree. <laughs> That's why I'm like, this is so hard. And I could not stomach. I promise y'all gonna be like, I 
would have asked her. I would have asked her. I could not stomach to ask her, what made you go get your nails done elsewhere? Because I don't want to be messy. And I don't want to get confrontational with you because a whole other side of me <laughs> will come out. And we'll have a conversation that may possibly turn into, you may not want to come back here for <laughs> just your pedicure or whatever. So that's why I'm like, I don't know if it's, if it's just me. Am I too nice? Should I have not done it? Should I have said, nope, sorry, I can't touch that, touch those nails because you went somewhere else. But you should know that though, right? <laughs> do y'all do this to y'all nail techs? Like, once you diso, like, prime example, I got another client. She was like, hey, I wanted to come to you um, to get my feet and my nails done. I was like, sure. I said, no problem. And then she was like, but I do have, I do normally go to my nail tech that's out there by me, but I'm willing to come out to you because obviously once I come to you, there's no turning back. You know, it's like a, it's like a code. You don't break the nail tech code. You can still have a relationship with your clients, but they need to also treat you with respect. I mean, I don't really think I took that as a sign of disrespect. I just took it as a sign like, what are you up to? What have you been doing? Why haven't I seen you? You know, like it's so many questions racing through my mind. Uh, Lean Lean says nothing wrong with asking, especially if she's a if she's a client of yours. And yes, she should have known that you don't do that. Yeah. I mean, as I'm like, my sister always tells me, you're too nice because I would have asked stuff. <laughs> get it um i have had a gift certificate in winston wells now that's different you know if you if like somebody got you a gift certificate to a place that's around your house i understand but it's like this is like the second time that i have seen her so i haven't seen her just once i've seen her twice with two different sets of nails on that still weren't done by me and she's had her feet done by me in February, but she hasn't been back to get her feet done until now. Hello, Riley. So, okay guys, I got cleaning to do over here. So we're gonna move some stuff over here. Okay. Let's get some answers here. So do y'all think I should have asked her? I mean, I could always text her. Oh, I'm sorry. I could always text her. I could always text her and be like, hey, you know, as I'm thinking about this, you know, you got your nails done. You got your nails done elsewhere. Is there a particular reason why you haven't been to me? You know, is there something that you don't like in the way that I'm doing your nails? Sorry, guys. Lights off. Okay. Um, yes. All right, Lee. So sad for you, honey. Laura says, yes, I should ask her. Lean Lee says, I would ask. I think I'm, I'm going to ask, but. Okay, so also, let me say this. I apologize for the way that I look, though. I was just coming on here because I wanted to get y'all opinion. But um, I'm still going to ask her. I'm going to ask her. And. I'm going to say, hey, you know, as I'm thinking about this, I noticed you did go to the shop that you, she told me where she went to, and I know exactly where that place is. It's, um, it's called, it's a Korean shop. 
let me just say it like that. Nothing's wrong with Korean shops, so please don't think that I'm saying stuff out the way. Nothing's wrong with that. But obviously, Korean shops have to make their have to make their money back on the products that they use. And you know, they have a shop to run, they have lights to keep on and things like that. Me ain't trying to be funny. This is like ain't like a side hustle, but it's a hobby with a side hustle that comes with some paper, some money. So I enjoy what I do. So, and I work a full-time job. So I don't have to worry about keeping the lights on, like nails being the only thing that pays my bills. So I don't have to worry about that. Not trying to brag or anything like that. I'm just saying nail shops have to make sure that they get every penny so they can make a profit at the end of the day. So... All right, let me see, y'all. I'm reading these comments. Oh, thank you, you guys. I do look a bit so good in my edges. I've been working. So, thank you. Thank you, Jasmine. How are you? Oh, thanks for tuning in. Yeah, I know I've been gone for a long time. I've been busy at work, but I'm trying to get back in the swing of things for you guys. So, yeah. Um... So that's why I'm like, yeah, feedback is needed. And now granted, you guys, right? So I'm not trying to say I'm the fastest at doing nails, but I like to make sure no step is skipped over. No step is missed. Making sure I prep what I need to prep. Make sure I lay the acrylic perfectly. I get it. My sets normally to do all of that prep and lay the acrylic is about an hour and a half. Now, I can get, like, maybe it could be that I take too long. I mean, maybe it could be because I like to make sure that my nails are, have a nice coverage of acrylic. So, they're not thin. Her nails were thin. So, I don't know. I guess, just like Tiffany said, feedback is needed. So, you guys are right. <laughs> I should have just asked her, but I don't want to put her on the spot. And, hold on, y'all. She's young too. So that could be the reason why. I think she's like 23. 23 or 24. Around now. Sorry guys, I'm cleaning up at the same time too. You guys can't see, but I got stuff down here that I'm cleaning up. I guess when it's hard to... Girl, yes, yeah, she didn't want to pay those prices, so she thinks she would charge less. Erica says age has nothing to do with it. And that's why I'm like, I don't know. Is it because... Oh, I'm sorry. Ooh, sorry, y'all. <laughs> I'm like, well, maybe, you know, she doesn't know how to say, well, you know, I want to go somewhere else. Or, so as you guys know, I work a full-time job. So my clients don't come until about 5 o'clock six or seven today i pushed her to seven because i had to make sure that i got some stuff done um make sure i got some stuff done at work so i pushed her to seven so maybe it could be that i'm not easily accessible you know look i'm making up all the excuses in the world <laughs> so oh man i don't know Here's my towels. I gotta go wash those. Hi, Ashley. Hey, beautiful. Where are our location? I'm in Illinois. Um, Diamond Diva says exactly. Age doesn't have anything to do with it because she thought that you would put some designs on her nails. So here, I can show you guys what I did to her nails. Now they were already solid. They were already a solid nude color and I just added some Gucci um, nail foils over it. 
So you guys got a sneak peek. So, you know, I'm just trying to figure out how to handle this. But I think I know what to do, y'all. Let me get my tablet. Okay. So, if you guys say so. Since you did it this time, she will more than likely ask you to do it again. I'm sure she will. Um, I guess that's another question. When do you get, when do you get to the point where you say, you're experienced enough where you don't work over other people's work. That's a good question. Oop. When do you do that? When do you say that? Do you not? I'm just saying. Okay. Uh, Jasmine says, let's bring this down some. Oh my God, I've been busy now. I've been getting clients and I've had to make a certain amount of people I schedule. Yes, you definitely should make a schedule so that way you can keep up with your clients. As you see, I have my calendar up here. Um, for the month of May, um, for the month of May, I really don't have too many clients. But I figure when June comes around, when actually the weather starts to break, I'll have a lot. Hi, Sierra. Uh, Tiffany says, did she ever have her feet done by anyone else? No. Nope. She did not. for you guys' opinions. Oh, thanks Jasmine for doing everything that I taught you. Yes. So, I wonder why my lights are flickering. Who knows? But we'll figure that part out. But yeah, so um because um your salon doesn't go to your feet so she figured she would go to you it could it could be um darling d nail said i don't know if you have a contract and you should put it in the contract i've never heard of that do you what do you put in your contract and is that a is that such a thing because to be quite honest i've never really heard of I've never heard of something like that before. But I mean, I guess that would make sense. To have something like that. Oh, thanks, Lean Lean. Yeah, I like to interact with you guys. It's definitely is an experience that I'm sharing that I mean, hey, maybe you guys experience as well but i thought that i would get on here and start doing these so that way i can kind of express my experiences um jasmine says no problem you are the best and that's why i love sending you all of my nail sets that i do i appreciate that i just did a self a set on myself and it's very hard yes always doing a set on yourself is hard and definitely your non-dominant hand is going to take longer than the actual hand that you can function with. Um, Laura said, because some salons don't do feet, maybe she figured you do feet, so she come to you, but uh, don't want you to do her nails, girl, back. <laughs> and 
but that salon does do feet. So I know that because I know exactly where that salon is. So I don't know. Maybe some people are maybe self-conscious with their feet. I mean, feet are feet. Everybody's feet is different. I don't judge nobody's feet whatsoever because my feet may not be, <laughs> be, the, be the most perfect, but you know, we all get different type of feet. We're all shaped different. We're all, we all are different sizes and whatnot. So no judging over here. None whatsoever. Bye, Tierra. Thanks for joining. Uh, Darling, you need having a contract protects you from lawsuits. Okay. I mean, I could look into that, but I feel like I maybe have like 20 people that I do on the regular and I feel like, what do I need a contract for? Because we got that open relationship. Nobody has wanted to sue me before. So that's why I'm like, I don't really do much to, you know, be sued or anything like that. But I mean, it's something definitely to look into for sure. Oops. Sorry guys, I'm wiping down my machine. Not my machine, my nail lamp. You guys want to see what I'm doing? Mm -hmm. OMG, yes, I just sent you pics on Instagram on what I did to myself. Okay, I'll take a look at them when I get off the live. Oh, yeah that was just basically my question to you guys what do you guys think maybe they don't do feet um as well as me i mean it could be i mean what i really think it is is that i'm not as accessible as i used to be and um, some people don't have the patience. Like, they just want to go right away and take care of some of the things. I'm like that. Like, if I need to get something done, I need to do it right away. Because I'm going to forget. Something's going to come up. And it needs to be done. Um, I, I have signed to agree to late fees if you miss or are late for an appointment. So that's something that I give a grace period of uh, 15 minutes. So I, I really don't have that issue. But yes, there are people out there that do that too. A late fee. Yes, because your time is valuable for sure. But the one thing that I don't have my clients do is pay a deposit. Which is probably what I should start doing. See, you guys, there's certain things that I don't do because it's like my clients have never really disappointed me like that. Like, no, I haven't had, I have not had a bad experience with stuff like that. So I really don't have to do that. But, you know, it's to each its own. What works for me doesn't work for everybody else. You know, and only having 20 clients, you know, is not such a huge deal. But it's definitely a big deal. <laughs> Y'all, I'm talking, I'm downplaying myself like I ain't the best. I'm the best. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I do too much. But you always got to hype yourself up. Who going to be y'all hype man? Hype yourself up. So, 
But yeah, that's what happened to me. So, you know what? I'm finna text. DJ Khaled, you the best. We the best. Yes. I'm texting her. Thanks, you guys. You're you guys are the best. Okay. I'm over here typing a whole novel. <laughs> I quit. Okay, so what I said is I said, thank you so much. I received the payment. Um, I said, question for you. Um, why don't you come back to me to get your nails done anymore? Is it something that I did um, or something that I did on your nails that you didn't like? I just want to get your feedback so I can improve for myself. right and it doesn't make or break me I, I just want to know and I'm not uh, I'm not trying to be like Rawr, you know down her throat for not coming to me it's okay And maybe I, I'm going to put that, I'm going to put that in, I'm going to insert that somewhere. Hold on. When you reread your messages, you think of ways to make it sound a way, way much better. Um, hi, Michelle. Michelle, question what's happening? I got here too late. Um, so I was just doing a nail diary of one of my clients. Um, I love her to pieces again. I just I haven't seen my clients since February, and today is the 13th of May. And last time she got a pedicure. And her gel polish was still on each toe and everything looked good. Um, but I've been seeing her lately and her nails have been done. Not by me. I've seen her twice with two different sets of nails on that were done by somebody else. And before then, I'd always do her nails. But now she gets them done elsewhere and I know where she goes. So I was just like doing a nail diary. Like, do you ask your clients? Do you not? Do you question them? Do you not? Do you ask them why? You know, 
So things like that. So I was getting some feedback from everybody and, you know, should I have, and then I also fixed her nails because they were too plain for her and she wanted some extra jazz on her nails and she said the nail shop be charging extra and stuff like that so i was just trying to figure out what you guys thought about that and i was cleaning up after my client so hence why i still have the mask on because i was playing lysol and all this other stuff so, so now i'm going to because i never really asked her but i was kind of like asking her questions but never really I thought to ask her, but I didn't want it to come off like I was like, well, why are you going to somebody else? What for? You know, I didn't want to question her like that. And I didn't want her to feel attacked or anything like that. So, because who knows what would have came out. <laughs> Ooh, for those that really know me, who knows what would have came out, depending on the response. Maybe, like I said, maybe I'm not that accessible anymore because I used to have clients to come at like 4 or 3.30, but now I have clients, my clients I have to push back because of my new schedule. They come at 6, 6.30, 7, 8, 8.30, so. Okay, so now I'm texting her. Yeah. So I said, thank you so much for the payment I said thank you so much I received the payment question for you I just thought about this now I mean I am lying forgive me Lord <laughs> y'all don't don't mad me I didn't just think of this but I didn't want to ask that person but I don't know does that make me I don't really think that that would have been a confrontation though you know Anyways, question for you. I just thought about this now. Why don't you come back to me to get your nails done? I'm okay with it, but I just want to know if it's something that I did or something that I did on your nails that you didn't like. Just want to get some feedback from you so I can improve for myself. Gotta wait till it says delivered. Delivered. Yeah. Okay, hold on. I'm missing some. That makes you human. Aw, oh, thank you guys. Uh <laughs> Lean 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 said she'll be back as soon as they give her greenies or fungus. Look, no judgment here, okay? Um, thank you. LOL. Y'all are funny. No judging. Okay. All right. So maybe I'll get a response. Maybe she'll ignore it. I don't know. At least I can say I asked. Too late, but I asked. Okay, y'all. Where am I? What am I supposed to do now? Okay, so Lysol wipes are. Actually, I was not done with the Lysol wipes. Let me wipe off, even though I didn't use my desk i had her sit in a chair i'm just gonna wipe everything off again okay and here's my bag so i have to go clean my implements and my tools i use lysol spray to clean up my tools i'm gonna go wash with soap and water and then I'm gonna put them in the bar beside. Lysol spray goes down here. So yeah. What you doing in here? Sit down. Sit. 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 You guys wanna see diesel what are you doing in here what you doing in here say hi diesel look that way say hi mm-hmm 
Now I gotta wipe this desk off because you're getting your drool everywhere. <laughs> Oh, thank you. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I know, I know, I know. You just gonna stand right here and <laughs> let me rub him. He is like, I am not moving at all. <laughs> Thanks. Come on. Come from under there. Mm. All right. You got to go, shorty. Shorty do I. <laughs> yes. Hey, right. come on. Let's go. Excuse me, guys. Thank you. See you later. Adios, amigos. <laughs> yeah. Okay. All right. Uh -huh. I know. Thank you, guys. He is beautiful. Beautiful. <laughs> Thanks. Um. I feel like we're here impatiently waiting for her response. Oh, no. Y'all do not have to wait on her response. While y'all are here, though, y'all can give me a thumbs up. Um, you feel better getting it off your chest. I mean, it wasn't so bad about getting it off my chest. It was just, you know, I do want to improve myself overall. So, it may be because I do take an hour, an hour and a half. She probably don't want to sit there that long. It could be because I do like my nails on the thicker side. And she may like her nails on the thin side. You know. So. So, yeah. I mean. It could be a few things. So, that's why I said I am not judging. <laughs> y'all out here waiting for a response I'm like I am not leaving until we get a response it's alright but yeah do you guys have any questions for me I mean I couldn't I am just about done cleaning I'm uh, about to go wash my implements and then I will be done and I'm sure Hubby wants something for dinner, maybe. Maybe. I don't know. That's the look, Diesel. You know I'm in here, that's why you coming in here now. <laughs> so um you never know how long an hour and a half could be to somebody, you know. I don't have the most comfortable these seats. They're from Amazon. They're pretty comfy to me, though. I mean, you just never know. Y'all, look at this. He's like, I've missed you. Hold on. How do y'all put this camera? Oh, he was just laying down on the floor. He might do it again. He was just laying down on the floor right there. Maybe he'll come back. I don't know. I just can't wait for the next live. Oh, thanks, guys. I do need to go to the nail supply store, though. In that case, she could tell you how you want them. Oh, yeah. I got a client that tells me exactly what she wants how to do them and if there's something that i'm doing that she doesn't like she'll be like hey can you take this down a little bit or make them a little bit shorter or mm, you know what i'll change my mind let's do this or wait you know like i have i have a client that does that so i don't mind you know it's all about the experience at the nail the nail salon and nail shop too 
You know, you want to have conversation. You just don't want it to be all work and no convo. So, let's see. Um, I feel bad going to get my petty girl. And she was great, but I wanted to start doing my own nails. And fell in love with practicing, so that's why I stopped. And there's, there's nothing wrong with that. You stop going to your nail tech because you want to start doing them yourself. I did that. Nothing's wrong with that. Only thing is that you can't go back. It's a code. And it's the code that I live by. There's a nail tech code. You don't just be out here going to each and every nail tech. Once you stop, you stop. I even still get emails from the lady that used to do my nails. So... Um, can you take us with you to the nail supply store? We want a field trip. Sure. <laughs> he will not lay in there with hubby, but he'll gonna come in here and lay down. He is too funny. He loves me more than hubby, Mr. Biscuit. Nah, I said it. Look, at he know I'm talking about him. He over here again. In the hair industry, they call that chair hopping. I wonder if there's some type of lingo in the nail industry. That says that once you leave your client, you can, there's no return. Like once you go, that's not a good example. Never mind. Yeah. <laughs> Y'all probably know where I was going with that. It's not a great example. Thief. Hey, what did you do, Mister Busybody? He busy. Busy. Okay, you guys. If you don't have anything else for me, I am going to go wash my implements. Um, my tools, cuticle pushers, nail file, nippers, nail drill bits. Wash those. I'm going to sweep my floor and I'm going to mop. And I'm going to be done. And then... I will um, talk with you guys later. And I guess I could give you an update if I ever get a response. You know. Oh, um, I am doing my nail class if you guys are interested. Um, see my previous video if you're interested. It's no worries. Um, if you need some glitter acrylics, check the link below. If you need any nail supplies that I normally use, check the link below. My Amazon storefront is listed below. Thank you guys so much for all the love and support. Thank you for always tuning in, interacting with me, giving me feedback. We talk about subjects. I really appreciate every single one of you. Thanks for subscribing and being part of the Biscuit family. You know, where would I be without y'all? Uh, beauty supply store run i got you girl babe we need to go to the beauty supply store i mean the nail supply store sorry y'all he don't want to hear that <laughs> but i was really supposed to do a no spend in may and i've been doing good because i ain't bought no nail supplies at all now i've been buying shoes and clothes yeah but no nail supplies so i've been doing good but maybe I'll just wait a little bit longer. But anyways, thank you all for rocking with me. Um, if you aren't following me on Instagram, please make sure that you do at I am Biscuit Seven. Um, some people send me nail pictures of sets that they have done. I communicate with you guys. I interact with you guys. So send them my way. And until the next live, you guys be safe. Take care. Love you all. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.